every time we do a video, it looks like I have big problems. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. We're chilly. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody. Hi. Uh, so we got to do the whole front part. We got to do the front butt. We got to do front butt, and then we got to do the yeah, actual back, back butt. butt. That's a double butt deuce doage. You want to do it? Yeah. Don't go first, do we? No. Okay. Well, this is fun. Welcome to Horror Squad. Today we have Breckenridge Whiskey Madeira Madeira finish. Madea. Madea. But there's an R. Hmm. I don't know. Batch one. Is this new? It's got a How? label on it. it. Says batch one. Is it from Colorado? It is. True. Oh, wait. Truth, yes. Colorado, Breckenridge, Colorado. So it's up in the mountains. Bougie. Breckenridge yeah. is bougie. That's, That's where all the people go to ski and Ooh, off. skiing's fun. Is it? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, it's great. 10 out of 10, recommend. <laughs> Snow's great. All right. <laughs> I feel super awkward. That's okay. It smells like whiskey. It's very... I feel like it smells, it smells normal. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you what I think it smells like. Oh, uh, there's a government warning label saying <laughs> you're going to get fetal alcohol syndrome if you drink it. And um, it's a high rye bourbon mash aged for a minimum of three years in charred new American oak barrels finished in Madeira casks. I'm assuming that's like a wine. Is it a port wine? I don't Did we clarify? Made on islands off the coast. Oh, that's right. You pulled that up earlier and I wasn't paying attention. Me either. I don't drink wine. So, anyway. <laughs> um, here. How much do you want? Surprise me. Yeah. I should probably stop saying that so much. <laughs> it is really pretty. <laughs> I did just watch the tablecloth. <laughs> We don't need to start over. I'm so excited. Sorry, Raggy. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not mad. <laughs> there are bigger things to be mad about than <laughs> a fucking tablecloth. Okay. We're gonna get canceled. Sorry. Um, no, I'm just in disappointment. No, you're not. Okay. Still smells. <laughs> it smells weird. I can't wait to. Will you tell me what it, you think it smells like after no. this? No. God, the mystery is always. Um, it's very light though, it smells light, but yeah, look at that color. It kind of smells like the Rebel Yell. Mmm, I drank the rest of that earlier. Um, cheers. Cheers. Okay. Welcome to Horror Squad. Booze on a budget. Hey guys. Hi. Well, tonight we are drinking this uh, Breckenridge whiskey with a Madeira finish. Have, have we had any Breckenridge yet? I don't think so. We haven't reviewed any. I don't think, I've seen the bottles for a while. And I don't know if it's, I don't know if this is the same company that makes the Breckenridge beers. I kind of would assume it is. Um, but they have some really tasty beers. Um, Rainy said this is a ski town? Is that what you, it was? Ski drinkers. resort? Isn't it? I don't know. Like I'm sure. And, and everywhere in Colorado. Yeah, like <laughs> I think so. The name sounded familiar, but I didn't know if that was, if it was a tennis player or a soccer guy. Um, this one is 46% uh, alcohol, which makes it 92 proof. So, you know, a little above average. Um, no back label. I like the bottle. You know, mm -hmm. it's a good, solid little bottle. Um, definitely could block somebody over the head with it. Yeah. Which. I think it's important if you can really hit someone good with it. Yep. 
That weird cow you met when it was too shaped too weird. Oh, is this too hard to use? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Got a little side well, graphic. Well, you know, there's not a lot going on Look, here. Someone wrote it. This is from the first batch. Yeah, it almost looks like it was handwritten, but I'm, I'm certain it wasn't. Like robot hand? Maybe. I don't know. That I got this at the booze barn. If you guys have a booze barn, you should go to it. Um, so I went to the booze barn, and the wizard there um, suggested this one. He, he hadn't had it yet, but he's excited that they just got it. And I guess this is Breckenridge's first release of their, I don't even know how to say it. I'd just say Madeira. Madeira. I think Medina like funky cold. But it's a Madeira, which is a wine from an island off the coast of South Africa. Or no, Africa, not South Africa. It's, I think it's Spanish island off the coast of Africa. Canaries? Anybody know? I never, I don't know. I knew it was a wine, but I never had it. What um, does it smell like? Huh? What, did you smell something weird? No. I, does it smell like being in the backseat of a car? It's pretty light, but I get a little... Let's see. Let's snort. A little kind of smell to it. I have a sweet whiskey scent. Maybe when you opened it, that, that mummy funk, like when you opened the mummy coffin, like you fresh opened it, it had that decayed death smell. What'd or, you smell? Did you yeah, smell a dead body? <laughs> <laughs> was it dead body or was it funky crust? It smells sweet and clean. Yeah. Sweet yeah. and clean. Well, no, I'm you wait. You made. Well, we want to know what your mystery smell is. The graham crackers? <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Old rubber latex dom outfit yes. thrown in the corner. Expensive. So expensive. So expensive. Hmm. It's got now a, that's out of the bottle. It's got that great red. That almost smelled like grapes. Doesn't it? <laughs> <The> wine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it has like a good smell to it. And this is what's funny. <laughs> Ladies have a better sense of smell in terms of like smellability. You guys have more smell clusters in your, you can smell things far, but like I've- Smell bullshit. You can smell bullshit a mile away, <laughs> especially mine. And they didn't smell anything, but it smells a little sweet, a little, maybe? That's, now, maybe we're coming it's to- It's like that pieces. church wine. Oh, that stuff, that stuff <laughs> tastes like uh, <laughs> That church wine. <laughs> Grape well, juice, M if you're in a Baptist church. You Is know, this some it's, MD? It's, <laughs> some Mogan David? What church are we? Well, you wanna give it a go? All right, let's give it a go. I'm ready to drink it and see what's Cheers. Like. Cheers. Oh, fuck. It's, that hit me right in the like soft palate. <laughs> At the sides of my tongue. Oh, it's spicy. It's like I just got kind of punched in the nose. It's warm. It's like warm. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's preemptive. <laughs> um, uh, it doesn't have a ton of flavor. No, but it's hot. <sighs> it is hot, but it is it's hot. It's not astringent. It has heat, but it's not astringent. Correct. Yeah. It's not like drinking rubbing alcohol. Right but it's like somebody slapped you in the mouth. Yeah, I say, I've never been slapped in the mouth. Me either. Been hit in the mouth, but never oh. slapped. No. Been backhanded and hit in the mouth. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the wrong place, wrong time. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna have to check in with you about that later. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's all right. You know what? After the alien whiskey, everything tastes great. So I don't know. You don't taste anything but dear, dear, dear. I I don't get wine, and I like to drink wine. Like I really like cabs, and I really like Pinot Noirs. I don't get any kind of wine, not even like a Malbec kind of thing going with it. Um. Yeah. Or just a red blend, because sometimes Malbecs are a little, I think they're really heavy. I've never heard that word before. 
I've heard it was my Pinot introductory Noir. wine. Introductory Cabernet. Is that a no, wine? A yeah, a Cab is red, or like a Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet. Yeah, <laughs> Cabernet is also a thing, but Cabernet is a red wine. And that's it. Champagne. Champagne. Yeah. Champagne. No, it's you. You said it right. Um, I'm just being dumb. And. I put it away. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no, I don't. What about the coloring? Can you, is there any taste for like Fuck, that fuck the coloring. Is? No, I, there's not a lot of flavor. Oh, it's weird. Yeah. It is weird. It's really, the flavor's subtle. It's spicy. Like, it's got that punch, but it's not astringent. So it's, it's actually an interesting It's like shot. spicy smooth. Can yeah. you say spicy smooth? That's how I would describe it, yeah. Man, that's interesting. What what'd you guys say? Sweet, smooth, spicy, spicy smooth. It wow. has like a this I familiar back of the tongue. Did you get a back of the tongue hit taste? Yeah, I didn't get the palate roof punch. Did y'all get tongue? That's interesting. Now I got like this weird, like as it went down the back of my tongue, it hit with this block of flavor huh. that's familiar from some other whiskeys that I can't remember. <laughs> And I don't know what that taste is. That barley, and then, and then there was a sweet. Sip. You know, a little sip too. A sip. And then there was like a little sweet, like front action, like a, a wisp, like a hint of, of sweet in the past. And it went. Okay, now, whoever that one lady is that's mad that we're shooting stuff. We we love you, but we just have shock. I don't know. I mean, I have some glasses, but we're just shooting it. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't. Mm -mm. It doesn't matter. Please watch our and have your friends watch it. You can be mad at us, but we we yeah. will drink with you because we're friends. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. The coloring's good. Kind of the what is that front? A, is that barley? I wish this one had the list of what they put in it. I don't Instead know, of telling you know, me about birth defects. It's got a high rye bourbon mash. So it must be the rye flavor that I'm tasting on the tongue. I kind of like it. Yeah, I like it too. And it's three years in a charred new American oak barrel and finished in Madeira cast. The finishing in cask things is, it's not new, but it's like all the rage now. People are finishing in all sorts of cask. Beer. It's trendy. Port. Um, funky cold Madeira. And like, how long is the finish? You know, that's the thing. They, they age it for three years. I think they finish it for like, they pour it in, shake it, kick it out. Yeah, Maybe 20, a couple of months. 21 days. Maybe a month. I just started making that whiskey at home. Oh. It says 21 days minimum. until it's ready. Yeah. Oh. It's like, eh. There has to be a minimum for the barrel finish for you to absorb some of the flavor. Um, I don't, but I don't know what it is. I don't um, know what really I tasted. Hi, Rob. Um, but I was good. It, it's easy to drink. It is easy to drink. I was Even thinking though, of drinking like, some there's more. That, like, but I mean, there's definitely something it, going on, but it's I there's no. I think it, it's worth the whiskey enthusiast would like this. Yeah, I think so. Um, now, in um, what's the price point on this okay, mofo? Fifty-two. Uh, Fifty-two. What a weird number. Well, I'm told now the standard middle-range whiskeys are between forty and sixty. Jesus. Better. Well, it. But still, it's fifty-two bucks, and we're based on a budget. That's on a budget. I can buy a lot of things. For... I. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think? Fifty-two. Would you get this if it was special, or even if you're just getting it with you? Oh, oh, it honestly it's kind of like eh. it's okay it's okay i like the fact that it's punchy but not astringent but it doesn't have a lot of flavor it's you shoot it easy um but have a chaser i mean i choke on it so what yeah. would you even mix this with like what would you want to mix this with i always just want cranberry juice with everything Whiskey. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's because I, what's 
Vegas bombs? Is that what? Did you ever do those? No. Vegas bombs, or what am I thinking of? But there is a drink with cranberry and whiskey, and it's and it's great. And that's what I always want whenever I drink whiskey. Oh. Is I want cranberry with my whiskey. I feel like it's like clean astringent to go with the dirty astringent. So the like the Seems astringents just fitting. become friends. <laughs> I just like cranberry juice. I don't like everything. Alright, we deviated. Sorry. My yeah, fault. I'm gonna know. say my fault. Um what what else do we have on this? Any any questions? Nah, it's just, it's <laughs> <bucks>. Okay. <laughs> would you buy it? Would you spend fifty two actually I kind of for most people chunk of cash? Yeah. But for working people it's standard. I'd rather get Reka. <laughs> You can get, you can buy oh, two man. liters of Rika <laughs> for the same price. <laughs> I can so confirm. So not as bad as Alien Whiskey. No, no. it's much better than it's, Alien Whiskey. It's, it's, it's actually not bad. It's, it's fine. It's yeah. It's just not good. Right. No. It's like kind of underwhelming, but it's fine. Like it's, it's fine. I would say it would be, I would be more apt to buy it if it was the same price as Rebel Yell. Rebel? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, Rebel, Rebel's 35. Rebel yells. Rebel I'm yells just hearing head. Billy Idol in my head. I, Rebel, Rebel yell. I also just watched whatever Rebel. season of whatever Rebel. American yeah, Horror like, Story. Yeah. I have it stuck in my head. I, like maybe you, for 40 or like 35. 30, like 30, yeah, 30, 35, 35 40. Well, like, compared to Chattanooga or Iowa yeah. or Yeah, I didn't try either of those. Watch Greg. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. It's not bad. Everything tastes good thus far that yeah. we've had compared to alien whiskey. Great big mix. Good job, guys. Go for it. Okay. In terms of a budget, this was fifty-two dollars. What do you think for your budget and then like your college budget? Maybe we should start defining it. I I don't know. I I would. I would feel comfortable paying 40 for this. Yeah, I, I, you know, this thing of, I understand the pricing because you guys have been sitting on your product for three to six years. You have a bunch of barrels. It's not like you can sell it for nothing. I mean, think how weird that is. Your product's been sitting there in the, in the warehouse for years. How do you not drink it? Um, yeah, how do you really <laughs> sip on it? Um, but it seems more like a 40. I think you've jumped the price up. But that could be the inflation, or maybe because you're in the mountains, prices are higher because you're up in the sky. It's all the manpower it takes it to get from the oak bar yeah, you barrels to, to the... <laughs> to the... <laughs> you're in the mountains, you have to bring it down in an ox cart, and it takes a while to get down. Um, I, maybe a 40. I'm, I'm much more comfortable on a budget buying things that are 20 to 40. 50, I'm always... It's $50. Yeah, I mean, you really got to... I mean, I feel like at it, 50, it's got to be a, a little special. A little special. Um, and just telling me you put it in a Madeira cask, I don't know. So I, the price, maybe for the budget, I would jump on something 30 to 40. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not saying to not, I mean, I think you should try it out. It's good. If you don't mind 52, this is nice. Um, this is a good purchase. If your budget's more like a $20 budget, obviously, don't even splurge for it. Yeah, gets you two larcenies. Two larceny. I bought a larceny with this because that's a good drinking whiskey. Yeah, and we say it every episode. Um, there's a bunch of things for twenty, and if you have thirty-five dollars, go get the Rebel. That's our new favorite for thirty-five. Um, so that's a lot cheaper than this one. But um, overall, this is a good experience. If you've been curious, if you're into the Breckenridge stuff, they have a port. I think was it a port? They have like four or five different these. Yeah. And um, I don't recall if we've tried any of them. We haven't. And the wizard made me buy, he didn't make me, but he said he was excited about this because they just got it. So I took it. My other choice was a $64 bottle of Old Fourth Ward that he said was delicious. And I'm, man, it's I'm hard skeptical. for me to buy something for $64. Local, should be cheaper. That's made down the street. Should cheaper. be like $10. Should give you a bucket you don't have with to no lid. Ship it anywhere. Just a you go down there and get a bucket with some leaves in it and you fill it up. But 
I don't know. So I tried it. 52. I think next time I'll... I'll try, I saw something a long bottom boat, something 20, something six. Or, <laughs> I'll go back and try another 20. Realistically, what's your budget? If you want to let us know down in the comment, what, what budget are you looking for? My budget's like a $20, $30 budget usually. I, I buy these just so we can make the videos and I'm glad it's delicious. I The uh, boondocks we got, I liked far more and that was 40. Yeah, I mean, I prefer prefer to stay in that range because yeah, 20 to I've had 40. so many that were 50 and beyond that I I just feel like we're not I don't think there's better a, than some of them. There's not a massive range. increase. If you bought something for 35 and you think, well, if I buy a 50 something or 60, is it that much better? No, it's not. It's just a little different, really. I don't even know if you use the word better. So, um, let us know if you have some cheap ones you want us to try. Somebody mentioned some rise. We haven't done those, and I forget to read the comments. And... We want to know your budget. But what's your budget? Yeah. Hey, what is your budget? I mean, uh, Liz's budget is like 10 to 20, often. Uh, Old Crow and Ancient Age, which we've never reviewed either. <laughs> um, and we haven't reviewed Rebel Yell. I was thinking of getting all the... The low ends just to try some old granddad we did a review in a bar but we never did a uh, we, comparison we've been surprised review. by them granddads granddads <laughs> yeah actually that granddad one, remember that one the was that 101 one four, the 101 the, the grand 101. one granddad was like amaze balls um so there's some cheap ones we're gonna try because that's a realistic budget especially nowadays as the country's falling apart you might only be able to have 20 bucks mm -hmm. and maybe you need cigarettes so that's five off so you need a $15 <laughs> old whiskey. Um, these are obviously, if you have a fancy job or you just got that $600 to $2,000 bullshit check from the government, <laughs> um, you don't buy this. Go buy some larceny yeah. and some, something else. Get you six larcenies. Yeah, get six larcenies and hold up through the next <laughs> COVID lockdown, which is what we did. Went through so many larcenies. Um, so please let us know. So. Thank you for watching. Sorry I'm slow with this. We're poor like you. I don't know. We're just trying to get the content out. We're trying. Um, we are always drinking. It's uh, it's a lot of effort. It, it takes some time and I have... No complaints to do. though. We have fun. We have a lot of fun and doing it. And we enjoy doing this. Watching. So thank you. Please share, like, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends to follow us or somebody. We thank you. We've been growing a little bit, and that's great for us. Incremental little bit grows are fun. Um, I've been making my students watch us, even though most of them aren't even drinking age. So that's funny. And if you're a student, don't drink. You're under 21. Um, so thank you, and we'll catch you next time when we review, you know, it's winter. Either a vodka or another bourbon. I... I want to get some things that taste bad, so we might do that. Okay. So bye, guys. Bye.